Welcome YouTube uh, to another room update video. I'm just gonna start this off with my um, with my terrarium here. I remember I showed you guys this a uh, little bit before. It wasn't really growing in. I think uh, growing in quite a bit now. Get the glass pane. Ground cover completely covered. I'm not sure what this is called. I think it's called Phoenix Moss or something. Um, Nana Petite's doing fine. The ferns have grown in. There's another fern in the back. Umbrella plant's doing good. In the back, on the back, there's uh, another plant not doing too well. The strings of frog climbing up the uh, climbing up the wood here. There's another one in the back climbing up as well. And the focal point, of course, are these mini palm uh, plants. They have grown absolutely gigantic. I didn't know they grew this tall and so what I've kind of did is I zip tied them down kind of bent them a little bit for them not to get crushed up against the top now if I do get these plants in the future which I probably will when I make a taller vivarium I'm probably gonna get these guys because I think these guys need at least like 20 26 inches of height for them to fully grow I I think um, and that's cutting it kind of close. So if you are going to get some of these mini palms, uh, I think this enclosure is 18 inches tall. So you're going to need something to accommodate them a little better. But they look absolutely fantastic just the way they are as well. They're actually flowering. So they're pretty damn happy here. Humidity is kept pretty high. There's always condensation on the glass. They like that. Everything's grown in pretty nice. I'm not sure what to put in here yet. Probably some house geckos or something else that won't uh, harass the plants too much. But isopods in here, springtails, tons of isopods everywhere. Um, they're just hiding underneath the, the cover. But overall, really nice looking terrarium. Next up are the vipers. They're in here. I need to clean out the uh, paper towel and refill water. Um, I don't fill it up too much because this is a pretty deep water dish. Don't want them getting in there and, you know, drowning. So, all the males are in here. They are actually doing pretty well as a fraternity. Um, the female is up here. She's in her own enclosure. But the males, their own fraternity, they're all doing pretty good. No signs of aggression or anything. Um, so yeah, good tip if you're planning to keep these guys. Keep same sexes together. Looks like that, that works just fine. Alright, so here's the female viper. Um, nothing much going on with her. She hasn't laid any eggs. I really wanted to keep her away from the males for at least uh, two or three months. To make sure that she's... Uh, She's okay. She's doing absolutely fine. I throw food in there. She uh, she runs out and starts eating. But I'm um, trying to keep her away from the males for now. And here is uh, my vinegaroon. My giant vinegaroon. I just put him in here. He's probably in his hide here. Um, don't want to bother him too much. I did just recently move him into this bin. A little bigger. Put much more substrate in here. I know that he likes a berry. You can kind of see the condensation from when I broke down the cocoa block. But yeah, um, he's doing pretty good. Uh, he's eating every week right around. Same thing with these chunky boys. These guys are probably the species I'm really interested in right now. Whip tail, tailless whip scorpions. Pretty darn cool. This here is a Central American variety. Uh, they don't grow as big. However, this is the largest one I have absolutely fantastic swollen abdomen these guys eat very well i actually took a video of this guy or girl whatever it is when it just molted probably try to throw that up there super cool here is my demon diadema my tanzanian super harder to see uh you can kind of see it it's uh down there Let me see if I can focus it in. Nope, can't. Either way, these guys are very small. They're probably around the size of my pinky nail. Equally fat, equally nice. I mean, 
these guys are going to get much larger than the Central American. So what I'm going to do is probably get some exoterras for individual exoterras for these two. And probably just modify like a bin, like a taller version of this for this guy or girl, whatever it is. So Whiptails doing fantastic. Vinegaroon doing awesome. Female Viper chilling out, relaxing. Males down here waiting for food. Uh, Viper Incubator, it's off. Uh, that's my Roach Colony growing. That's my catch bin down there for, uh, I actually have a drainage hooked up here that it drains the excess water down into that bin there. It evaporates, it's fine. Um, so it doesn't get waterlogged in there. Pretty cool. Then my, um, my incubator shut off. No, no clutches right now. It is what it is. My Costco run haul. I drink a soda a day. That's my drug. Leave me alone. Now I'm going to get into the babies after I get into the adults. I just fed these guys. So they're going to be pretty chunky. This here is sprinkles doing cool. He just ate. He ate two meals. He's he's a full guy, so he's probably not going to get fed for like another week and a half. Great looking guy though. Stacking weight. I haven't weighed my females in a bit. She uh, This year's chips. Orange Dream and she Clown. She just ate. Absolutely fantastic. Next up is um, this year's ice. Uh, my Leopard nuclear blast at clown she just ate i have this in here guys she's a uh, for whatever reason she's just really bad at shedding you say well it looks really dry in here it's it's these tubs here in particular maintain humidity really really well so if you add a little bit it stays so when the moment i see that they start to blow up i do give them quite a bit of humidity however she, ice just does not shed completely she like it's just shrapnel every single time she sheds. I was hoping that if I add this piece here of um, of chola wood, that she'd be able to brush up against it. It's really rough. Um, she'd be able to, you know, help her shed out. And that's why it's there. She does not shed out in one piece. Stresses me out about every month. It sucks, but that's how it is. Next up, my big girl. She's in the middle of a deep, deep, deep blue. Big girl here. Feeding day it was her day today, but she's in deep blue, so I didn't feed. But great looking girl. <laughs> Sorry about that. The one bad thing about PVC is that it makes that sound. It's pretty tough. Here's Deluxe Spot Nose Pastel Clown. She just ate. She's a chonker. She was a uh, mama that gave eggs. Here is Vendetta. She ate two days ago. I am waiting for her to lay me a damn clutch. I thought she was going to go. I th she wasn't eating. She was getting thick. But guess not. It is what it is. So I'm going to keep throwing sprinks at her. Here is chocolate. Uh, she is my Mojave clown. Mother of my first clutch. Really nice. Next up. This here is a pastel clown. Ate yesterday. Pretty nice. No, nothing, uh, nothing huge and impactful. Of course, all of them are females except for Sprinks here. My main man. The reason why I call him my main man? Because he is the only man. All right, let me zoom in for this one. These guys all just ate today. Pretty chunky. Male Mojave beautiful little guy don't look at the cards guys sheesh spoiling this here is a pastel clown all of these guys these first eight are already on rat pups they take them down just fine it's a substantial meal if i feel them if i feed them anything less than pups i don't really think they're getting a good meal out of it only feed them once a week so when I do feed them I want to make sure that they have a good meal this here is uh my gosh spot nose pastel mojave clown she looks absolutely fantastic look at her freaking fantastic 
Beautiful looking girl. Next up is a female spot nose. She is chonky. She's around 107 grams. I think she is not the biggest one I have. She's a female. All of these uh, hatchlings are available except for two. I'm going to make them known. However, all the ones so far are available. If you have any questions, I'm going to link my, link my morph market. Take a look. This here is my Mojave Spot Nose Clown, female. She is going into some shed, deep blue eyes. She has a really, really spunky attitude. Really humid in there. I just threw in some water into the cocoa. Help out with that shed. Sometimes ball pythons have that bad shed for whatever reason. Not sure. Here is her sister. Same thing, spot nose Mojave clown, female, beautiful, beautiful girl. Light really isn't doing her justice. This camera isn't very good. I don't have a very good camera. Oh well. This here, my, uh, the reason I'm not picking these, these guys up, like I said, everyone just fed today. So, not really in the mood to pick anything up. This here is my pastel leopard girl. Beautiful, beautiful girl. And that was the first clutch, these seven. So, two, 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 and then that female. All those seven available. The only two males were the Mojave clown, pastel clown males. The rest were female, pretty cool. And this is one of the girls I actually picked up because the, like I said, my desert ghost girl didn't go. I'm tired of waiting for an animal like this. This is a clown hat desert ghost, female. Very big, very nice. Picked them up from American Made Exotics. Very beautiful girl. She looks kind of spunky. I'm not picking her up because she just ate. Big bulge, very nice. Spunky, very good quality animal. She has eaten every single time I've thrown food at her. Very nice. All right, next up is a uh, female pastel. I threw a pinky in with her and she is probably, pinky's still alive. I'm not gonna show live feedings, I'm not into that. But yeah, this girl here looks pretty different from the pastel up here. Look at her. She hasn't eaten yet for whatever reason. She still has good body, you know, her body's, you know, doesn't look like it's breaking down or anything yet. I'm gonna keep trying. I don't wanna force anything onto her, but you know, she keeps resisting then you know, some, 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 something's going to give. Boop. All right. So, female here, male here. Difference in coloration, difference in blushing. That's dimorphism and pastel, man. That's just what it is. There's a nice difference. Beautiful animal, nonetheless. A lot more blushing. If you like your animals more blushed, look for them. They're out there. Um, if you don't like too much blushing, they're also out there, you know? Preference. Ball pythons are great for catering to preferences. This here is a spot nose male. Everything here is male. Beautiful animal. Hasn't turned down a meal. Now, I am feeding these guys pinkies as they're first second and third meal after that they're getting moved up to pups you might think that that's too soon that's too fast whatever they take them just fine um yeah they take them just fine if i think they might have an issues i'll feed them feed them frozen thawed they'll jump on those this is a male spot nose clown also fed a pink and they just swallowed them man pinkies for these guys it's not it's not substantial enough. These are rat pinks. This is a pastel Batman, pastel leopard, spot nose clown. Beautiful looking animal. Positioned. He's ready to eat again. 
because like I said, this week's meal was a pink, probably their last pink. They've already eaten twice. Today was the third day. So they're gonna be moved up to pups. That's up for that pastel up there, of course. So, uh, this is a killer Batman. <laughs> See that? Already looking to eat some more. Killer Batman, uh, super pastel, leopard, uh, spot nose clown. Super beautiful animal. Very, very, very beautiful. Very hungry. All of these guys are very hungry. Batman. Leopard spot nose clown. Male, of course. Hungry. Decision to strike. Now these two. These are the super spot nose clowns. Wanted to give a little update on them. And we kind of show you guys how they're developing. Now the female here. This is again a hold back. Whoa. She's hungry. <laughs> she, uh, she wants to eat. She wants to eat me, and she's not free to show it off. Very spunky, lots of good attitude. You kind of see she's got a bit of wobble there. Kind of holding her head cricket. Cricket, see that? Even that strike pose is kind of weird. She's got a wobble, man. Look at her. I call her Rampope. That's because uh, spiked eggnog, there's alcohol, makes you wobbly. Um, she's got a wobble. I don't think it's gonna affect her much. I'm keeping her. Probably, she'll probably make a good breeder. As long as her um, wobble doesn't get any worse. Knock on wood, being realistic here. Then, this is the male, you see that? This guy ate as well, he is he has eaten every single time as well. However, the wobble for this guy, see that? A little more pronounced. See that, he's not, I'm not even moving him. A little more pronounced, it's there, you know. I kind of want to hold him back a little bit. If I am going to sell him, probably going to sell him when he's, you know, two, 300 grams, make sure that he's good. He eats very well. I mean, they almost always do. It's just I want to make sure that I don't sell an animal that's corkscrewing like crazy. And I want to make sure that if I do sell, the buyer knows absolutely what he's getting himself into with that corkscrewing. Right? So that's been pretty much it. Leave it off on a very satisfied male here. All right, so I went through these guys pretty quick. If you guys have any questions on any animals, comment down below, all that good stuff. Pretty fast. Of course, I gotta upgrade some uh, some uh, enclosures, especially those with those whip tails. That Central American whip tail really does need to get an upgrade, but it will come with time. I gotta make some space, optimize my living area, all that good stuff. But everybody's eating extremely well. I mean, there's no one here that's off of food. Everyone has been eating great. Everyone here, all of the babies, except the only animal is this pastel. Just, just this girl, man. Being a real killjoy. See that pinky in the back. If she does not eat that pinky by tonight, that pinky is gonna be donated to another snake that will probably enjoy it much more than her. And I think this will be the fourth week or third week. This will be the third week she hasn't eaten. So she'll probably get something forced onto her. Um, I don't think that's the most wonderful of things to say. However, it needs to be done. I don't want her to weak away and waste away and you know, all that good stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Quick one, very quick. I flew through these guys. I just flew. So if you guys want any, uh, any dedicated videos to any of these animals, let me know. I am planning something like a little mini series for each of these snakes, kind of, sort of. Um, and I'll see what I'm going to do.